with a foam tile floor and are placed in addition not be perfect on both sides chrome stacks on the field four unique navigation images are positioned of the field are the red and blue alliance stations. Before each match, cones are stacked. The three-sided signal is then randomized. Each image references a specific parking target during match play. If a team designs their own signal sleeve, it can be used to gain additional points. The field and players are now ready. Alright, detection. How do we do it? What are we gonna do? Jeez, I hate this. So for this year's challenge, most people are very sad because there's no more, oh, I just detect the place where the cone isn't, and that's where I go. Because, you know, you used to be able to use, if there's three positions, and I don't see one, then just go with, you know, what's there. But this year, you actually have to figure out which side it's pointing. And so, um, it's quite obvious, no one's going to use this, because you get no extra points. So, why would we do that? Instead, we got three methods. All right, one, April tax, two, color detection, three, object detection. Why are there fruits? I don't know. Don't ask. Um, but yeah, which one should you use? So the first one, probably the most basic one is color detection. Uh, our team personally used this last year um, and we use this YCRCB scale, which is just a fancy term for saying like the RGB scale, but you can account for brightness um, based on the competition. So we have two little things. One is like tape, so it's quite like obvious. And another one is construction paper. Construction paper sucks. You cannot see anything from this. So just don't even worry about that. This though, we did try. And I think it'll be here. We tried it, it's horrible. Okay, first off, if there's a tiny box that you have to use, if that doesn't work, or if you don't align it properly, you're not seeing anything. Second of all, you can detect random colors so you can't make your box too big. And if your like opponent's col like robot is the same color as your detection, it's done. And also, there's a ton of memory leaks, so just don't bother. The second and probably the most coolest one is the object detection. Object detection is really cool because you know you have to train a model, and FTC has been really nice, and they've made their machine learning library, and you can easily train it. You don't even have to have coding experience to do that. I'll probably make, we'll make a video on that later. But for us, we used fruits. Yeah, we're in kindergarten. But um, one thing we can see is, I'll probably have a video here too. Um, it sometimes detects and sometimes doesn't. Um, accuracy is overall like decently good, but it can't account for brightness. And considering how far away, or like for, in our case, we're using a Logitech camera, which is not the best. So if you're very far away, you're not seeing anything. So even though this is really good and it's really cool, it just takes too long also, and it's just not useful. Damn, that was loud. And so the last method of detection that we come across is April tags. April tags are basically like a barcode or a QR code. You know, you can make your QR codes on Google with that little stupid dinosaur who died some time ago. But these are very good because First off, it's very easy to code. Um, and second off, it's like very good accuracy and it's very quick. Um, of course, I'm not gonna give the code away because you guys can have fun figuring that out. Um, we already did it. But now comes the issue of what are the cons with April Tax? They're quick and they're very good. But the issue is if the square is even a little bit off the screen, like let's say you accidentally align it something like this. And even though we to humans, it, it seems pretty obvious that it's a square. The camera will actually not detect that corner. I'll have a video right here where it doesn't work. Um, so what we did is we actually came up with three different sleeves. So these are two possible sleeves. Um, and this one we have it all the way at the bottom with the biggest like area possible so the camera can see it. Here we kind of moved it up because we just tried to make sure that and we made it a little bit smaller. 
um, to make sure that also the camera could see. But also it's like less likely that it'll be like curved or out of way. But the best way that we found was actually just having a small design all the way at the bottom because if you turn it all the way here, you can still see the whole square. If you turn it all the way here, you can still see the whole square. And there's no way you align it like this or your team is just a bunch of buffoons. So yeah, overall, the best method, April tax. So thanks for watching um, and good luck in this hell of a season.